Hello and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. I'm Andre and today I want to show you how to create planets in Photoshop. I came up with this idea from a premium tutorial that I just published a few days ago and I wanted to create some planets for that manipulation but I couldn't find any stock image for that and I tried to make them myself and it actually worked pretty well and I thought I could show you the technique and I created this uh, quick Photoshop tutorial for, for everyone to see the technique that I'm using and maybe it's useful for your own projects. This is the image that we'll, we will create. You'll see it here on this. The image that you'll see here on the screen is the end result of this tutorial. I just used one texture and layer styles and I want to show you how to do that. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, uh, take a moment and subscribe to my channel. I create Photoshop tutorials, retouching effects, but mostly photo manipulations because that's what I like. And I've been using Photoshop for 10 years and Photo manipulations is uh, every, it's, uh, what I like the most. Also, want, I want to remind you that from now on, all my, all my premium tutorials will be published as well on YouTube. So you can join uh, my premium YouTube uh, section. And once you subscribe, you get access to all the premium tutorials that are also on my website. Uh, YouTube makes it a, li a little easier to subscribe and cancel subscriptions. And uh, since they give me the, uh, this, um, uh, option I also have my premium tutorials on on my YouTube channel just click the join button if you're interested uh, it's down below the video next to the subscribe button or from my channel now that being said let's get started So as I said, this is the end result of this tutorial. It's really simple. Uh, you can download the stock image from the video description or if you're watching this from my website underneath the video player or uh, somewhere there you will find the link to download this texture and also the background image. Also, you can download the PSD file from my website and let's get started. I'm going to group everything here except the background because I'm going to do it all over again. So just hide that for now. and. We'll start by creating, so open the background image, this or any other sky image that you have. I found this one, I think it looked nice. Um, so create a new layer and let's name this planet because this is where our planet will be. Now select the uh, ellipse tool, this is the vector uh, shape. Make sure you set the mode to shape, not to path and change the stroke to none because we don't need any stroke. And now we have to draw our planet. Let me zoom out a little bit and just start drawing this shape. If you press the shift key, you will create the perfect circle and about that big, it's okay. Now the color of it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use this orange just so we can see where our shape is. And this will be our planet. Now the next, the next thing to do is to add a texture. Uh, on the links, you will find different textures that I used uh, that you could use for this kind of planets but you can use any texture you want. Obviously use concrete or something, something like that that will resemble <laughs> a planet texture. So let me just, uh, here inside this um, folder, I have a few textures that I downloaded from, I think from pexels.com and you can see how they look like. Personally, the one that I really love the most is this one because it has these lines, it has this cracks in here. They just like look like, um, I don't know, like canyons or um, craters or something like that. So I'm going to use this for this tutorial, but you can use any other texture that you want. Now I'm going to place it right on top. Um, make sure it covers your shape and right click on, on the layer and choose create clipping mask. This will make the texture visible only over that shape. Now I will zoom in a bit so I can see it better. And now you can, you're free to move this around. And the next step that we want to do and that really gives it this, um, look of a planet is use layer styles. In order to make this look like a 3D planet, we need to use sh uh, shadows and lights, of course. So let's go into the planet's layer style. So double click here on the empty space and bring up the layers style panel. Now from here, we want to start uh, by, um, let me clean this up. So I'm going to click here on the FX and choose reset to default list so that I have only the, well, def the default styles. By the way, I'm using Photoshop CC 2019, but you can do this in pretty much any Photoshop version. We will start with the shadow. Now I will put the light here on top and the shadow on the bottom. So I'll use the inner shadow first. 
I don't want to use global light, so make sure deactivate it. I will set the color to black, mode to normal, and let me reset everything. The contour set to linear and increase the opacity to 100%. Now, the next thing you want to do is set the angle. I want to have it at about 120 degrees and increase the distance. I think I will leave it like this for now. We will have to come back here and just change the settings, but for now I will leave it like that and just increase the size. You can see that it already starts to look a little more 3D-ish. And the next thing I want to do is add a gradient overlay. Now here for the gradient we are going to use black to white. Blend mode to multiply because we don't want to see the white bits and style to linear and just the angle the same as we used on the shadow on the inner shadow and what you do here is just um, change the scale start with 100 percent and or actually start with zero so you can see um, so you can see the line let me just uh, deactivate a little bit the inner shadow so you can see it better so i have it roughly about crossing the, the mid section of this uh, shape and then I will increase the scale to soften this up. Okay, this is just a softer shadow and with the inner shadow you get a stronger shadow. Now you will see that overlapping, uh, because they overlap you have a very dark area, so decrease the opacity of the inner shadow. You will still want to see some of the texture, but you want to see it darker. Now with the gradient overlay what you can do is just click and drag it and move it around like I think I will leave it right over there. It's still too dark on the bottom, so I'm going to drop the opacity of the inner shadow a bit more. One other thing you can try when working with the inner shadow is use the contour. You can see by default it's linear, but you can try different ones and you will see that the shape changes. And just use the one that works best for you. And of course with the size you can you can soften these edges that you see here. This one does not look really nice. I do like, th this one is pretty nice actually, let me, this one is too strong, uh, you can even use a custom one I think from here, uh, you can use a new contour and just do it yourself, but uh, let's not complicate things, I think this one looks okay, like that, and probably increase the distance to about 300, or 500, let's see, that's too much, 400, okay, and just drop the opacity just a little more okay now we're done with the shadows um, we're gonna add the light a little later on but let's let's add some details now the first thing I want to do is add some color um, you can create sort of an, a Mars color like this is red or something like that and try blend modes by default I used vivid light I think it looks nice but be careful because if you go too dark it's gonna darken the whole bottom part there and it's it's not looking nice so uh, probably something like that. Of course, you can make a bluish plan. Let's make a blue one, so that we have something different than uh, than on the PSD that that uh, you downloaded. Okay, so you can see that if I use a dark tone, the shadows really make the planet too dark. So I could leave it like that, and then go back to the gradient overlay and just move it down a bit, or just drop the opacity of it. Drop it like that, and maybe on the inner shadow increase it. So you can uh, tweak back and forth until you get something you, you like. Now the next thing you want to do is create the atmosphere of this planet. You have to create some glow, uh, and you can do that with the inner glow. So I'm going to ch uh, check inner glow. You can see that I, I already have the values here because of the I just created the, the previous one and the values are the same, so let me just reset to default. And I use the you can use screen or lighten for this, and usually a blue um, or a cyan tone looks nice for this um, atmosphere. Of course, not planets have atmospheres, but I'm not going to go into that. Increase the size of this. Let me just change the color because uh, let me just use the same one or maybe make it green because I want to I want you to be able to see the subtle differences that I create when creating this atmosphere. I think this looks good, maybe a bit more saturated. So you can get, create this sort of alien planets here. Uh, let's go back to the inner glow with this, um, just uh, make the, my screen brighter. Um, that looks nice, I think. 
again here you can work with the contour what really makes this look nice is when you play with the size and with the range you can increase the size a lot and decrease the range you can see the effect that it does the lower the range this the the sharper the transition is and the bigger the, the range the less uh, well the, the smoother the transition so you want to have something in between and probably a little more saturated and let me increase the opacity here so just play around with the values until you get something that you like the next thing I want to do is add some light on the top now if you have something there like a nebula or something that um, adds more light it will look even better now you can do this again with inner shadow um, make sure that you when you add the new shadow the light is on the top and the shadows are on the bottom because if you have this inner shadow which is actually the shadow itself if you have it on top of the of this one which will be my light it's gonna cover it so um, make sure you have the light on top now the color that I'm gonna use this I'm just gonna sample it from there something random like so of course I'm gonna use the opposite angle less distance and less size actually the size I'm gonna leave it to zero for now like that and the contour well, it does it doesn't look bad with that contour actually well I'm gonna leave it to linear and here you can try blend modes uh, color dodge is gonna make a really bright color so you probably want to use something um, a, a darker tone and again here you can play with the distance and with the size until you get something that you like um, there's one thing I don't like the the this atmosphere as I call it I think it's too bright so I'm gonna make it just a touch darker by darkening the tone the, the lightness of the, the of that color and probably increase the light in here and desaturate it slightly and now the last step is to create some glow of the whole planet this has to be really subtle I will use outer glow actually you can use outer glow and also drop shadow uh, I will use outer glow and start with a really dark tone see this it's too strong you don't want to see the different uh, this glow too much so just darken it a little more something like that use size 250 pixels and the range let's leave it to 100 percent if you want even more you can use drop shadow and the trick here is you can uh, use the distance to add more glow and more shadow more, more drop shadow as you can see here on the top because this is where the light is so I could use a tone like this on screen and just increase the size a little bit and I have more glow over here it's still too strong so I'm gonna just darken it and probably increase the the size of this let me just use a color similar to the one that the planet has I think it's gonna look a little better and again here you can play with the opacities maybe the outer glow is too strong you just want to have a really subtle glow in here now we're done with the style take a look before and after and as a bonus let me show you how I created those Saturn rings uh, I will create a new layer and what you do is select the rectangular marquee tool create a shape like this this will be the width of the uh, of those rings okay and just select a color from here actually using a gradient maybe it's gonna be even better mm, use black to white and then you change the white to something else let's try something like this and you just start creating a, a gradient like that make sure you don't have it the black part too visible you want to have something like this something really subtle okay now get the move tool I'm gonna zoom out a little bit press control command T and just move this until you see that the these guides that it's actually sitting right in the middle of the canvas okay now with that done I'm going to filter distort and I will choose polar coordinates choose rectangular to polar and click OK and this is what it does now I can control click it press and hold the shift key so I can squeeze this down and probably make it just a little bigger and 
rotate it slightly. Once you're done with that, create a layer mask. Let's name this rings. And control click the planet thumbnail, go to the layer mask, get the brush tool and paint with black to get rid of the shape over there. And you're good to go. Maybe it's too bright, so I would drop the opacity just to about 90%. And with curves or levels, you could darken the whole thing a little bit. Well, that's too much. And you can see that now we have the rings and we have this sort of a shape there running along it. And that's how I created planets in Photoshop. You can use different textures and uh, create satellites around them or you whatever you want to you want to create. Again, if you want to emphasize this a little more, you can use the brush tool on a new layer with the screen blend mode and use a color similar to your planet and just make some glows of light around it with hardness zero. Again, I'm improvising. See that? Let me use something even darker. And there you go, that's your planet. <laughs> so I hope you liked it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. And if you have any comments, uh, just make sure you post a comment here on YouTube or on my website. And if you create something cool, you can upload your images on Instagram. You can also follow me there at PSDBoxOfficial on Instagram. And you can tag your photos uh, with the hashtag PSDBox so I can see what you're, what you're creating. And thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.